What's going on everyone? I wanted to try and something a little different and kick off a Play 3 series, and I honestly couldn't think of a better game to do it with than Ghost of Tsushima. It's been out for a little over three years now, originally released on the PS4, and for those who aren't aware, it's based around the 13th century and the Mongol invasion of the Tsushima Island. We're going to be following our protagonist, Jin, who despite little support is going to have to try to find a way to fight back the Mongol invasion. Uh, again, this all with a sleuth of personal dilemmas around his honor. I plan on keeping this story focused, but if you want me to venture out and cover more of the side content, just leave a comment and let me know. Uh, we plan on covering the mechanics and diving into what's going on as I play, but I won't be talking over dialogue or cutscenes. This game has an awesome story, beautiful graphics, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Tradition, courage, honor, they are what make us. We are the warriors of Tsushima. We are samurai! Nogadachi, go break their spirits. Hey! Outsiders, send your finest warrior to face me. Nada, Jin Nida. I am Haru Nobu Adachi, descendant of the legendary Yoshi Nobu Adachi. Sorry for the whiffs. Kick the bearings. There we go. Oh. Did I just... I thought I was dead there for a second. Even if it cost us our lives, as a command, Lord Shimura. The carnage. Men, we 
must hunt down the Mongol leader. Everyone, with me. George, cut them down. All right, but oops. Wait, come with him again. I guess I don't need a block. Just fighting to pull over on blood. I want to see here. There we go, a little parry action. And a whiff. And a yep. I am Samurai. Not a very good one. Jesus. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I know. We'll get better, I promise. Yeah, here we go. Get him. We're all that's left. There is only one path for us. Find the Mongol leader and end the beer. I'll fight beside you to the end. I know. Me. Just the scale of it. I mean, the scenes already set in this game in the first five minutes are probably better than most games lately. Yeah. I'm on your leader. I'm ready, Uncle. We end this together. <laughs> Sorry. That was funny. Kotan, cousin of Kublai, grandson of Genghis. Brother, you are a warrior. I can see that. You trained your whole life for this, and you have won battles. Lesser men have called unwinnable, yes? But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and which to burn. So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender?
Alright, well, good thing is we lived. To meet no the weapons, goat. Just supplies. Need to keep moving. Mongols. Someone saved me. Hit me back here. Maybe they have my sword. Wouldn't be a stealth game, obviously, if you didn't have to sneak without weapons. Okay, obviously gotta get to this house here. Oh. Oh. Had a good start, and that's not the way to go. Maybe it's just a straightforward path here. Shh. Hey, sometimes the obvious path is the right path. I can just, yeah, stay your tracks behind these guys, just patrolling. I'm sorry, this is darkness. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I gotta turn this up just a little bit. Okay, hopefully that doesn't affect you guys too much. Someone was sharpening their blade. A warrior. My armor. Broken. Let's go. But better than nothing. Back inside. No. How are your wounds? Can you run? I I think so. Where's my sword? Not here. You're off here. I'll take care of this. Please hide. Oh, oh, don't hurt me. Shield for me. Christ. You want your sword? Follow me. How long was That's I out? She's long the enough for Mongols to conquer half the island. No. Shit. All right. Not now. Shit. Get down. A lot of traversal in this game with X and the directional stick. This is uh, the moral boundaries at times. Lord Shimura was with me on the battlefield. Jito, forget him. Yuna, wait. Lord 
Shimura is my uncle. You're Jin Sakai? Fujito's nephew? I have to know. Did he survive? I think so. The Mongols took him prisoner. Where did they take him? East, along the coast. Toward Castle Kanada. They must be holding him inside, celebrating their victory. I could take them by surprise. You'll be killed. Or I'll rescue Lord Shimura. Then help him drive the Mongols into the sea. We can contact the Shogun, call for reinforcements. I didn't nurse you back to health to watch you throw your life away. Why did you save me? I couldn't leave you to die. I need your help. Lord Shimura can help our whole island. That is the only family I have left. Let's move. So these covers and blinds are going to be pretty huge in the way you move across the map. Someone's bound to see us. I'll take that chance. Wait. The guard. Sam a samurai, not an assassin, you know. Come on. More traversal here with the left stick and X, getting on roofs and climbing. your sword back. Rooftops will be pretty important throughout the game for stealth, getting around without being seen, attacks from high ground. This is someone's house. And they're not coming back. Yeah, a little bit of moral decisions with working with the thief, but supplies you're going to notice around, they're going to be kind of flickering and shining. This will be the same for item upgrades, which I won't go into. Don't want to spoil it, but... They're pretty easy to spy even in darker lit rooms. Looks like he made it too far. Be here. Where is my katana? I am Jin Sakai, nephew to the great Lord Shimura. I am no coward! <laughs> Your enemy is no match for you. But... You still lack control. I was practicing. With your father's weapon? The sword of Clan Sakai. Has saved lives. 
have ended wars. Who did this to you? No one. I will teach you to defend yourself. I know how to fight. To master your blade, you must first control your emotions. I can do that, Uncle. Show me. Let's see what you've been practicing. Try to strike me. Yes, Uncle. Again, the music, the certain scenes. Attack! I am ready. So we're learning mechanics here. Baseline. Try to strike me. Quick attacks, heavy attacks. Well done. If you'd fought like that, your attacker would not have bruised you so easily. It wasn't a fair fight. Imagine he's returned to finish what he started, and he'll use every dirty trick he knows. How will you defend yourself? He's big, but I'm quicker. I'll stay out of his reach, wait for him to get tired, then drop him with one strike. Good. A samurai must always fight with patience and discipline, even when his opponent resorts to trickery. I'll remember, uncle. Now. Break through my defenses. Show me Jin Sakai is a warrior of great courage. So you got a guard break, that's with holding the triangle. Break and obviously quick attacks. This is an easy way to kind of start off with combat in the game. I mean, look at this. A heavy attack will unbalance your foe. Follow with a quick strike. You're gonna hear me Enough. ramble about this scene a lot. I yield. You let me win. Not at all. If you held the real sword, I would be dead. Really? I would never lie to you, Jin. Now for a change, try to block my attacks. I will not go easy on you. Good. So you can hold out one. This is gonna block. I'm personally not a big fan of this. I, I prefer parry, as you can see. I'm sore. Can we take a break? We're not finished yet. Find your resolve and fight through the pain. Good. Healing option. You can upgrade this as you go on in the game, too. This also be trade off with special abilities and a couple other things, which we'll see as we go it's on. Time you learn to parry. Wait for me to make the first move. Once I strike, block my attack. Fine parry. So parry, just like any other game, is timing related. Pretty simple, but huge in this game. Good form, Jin. You're improving. You need to catch your breath. <laughs> it will take more than a child to knock the wind out of me. Now then, let's see you defend against a spear. Dodge my spear, then follow up with a counterattack. Good reflexes. Oh. Okay, so this is a good intro into different kind of enemies we're going to go against throughout the game. You're going to spear them in, different kind of swords, heavy brutes. Dodge is also an important one to have. When you see red flashing, you can't parry these. Easy technique like they're shown here. Dodge to the side and swing. There is no weapon, no warrior you cannot overcome. Thank you for these lessons, Uncle. We are not finished yet. Jin Sakai, will you honor me with a sparring match? I wouldn't want to hurt you. If you're that confident, let's make this interesting. The first to land five strikes gets to choose dinner. I hope you like octopus. <laughs> Big octopus guy here. Very Again, rigid. like the leaf movement. Damn, just got his ass beat. question for generations our families have lived by a code tell me the virtues that guide us loyalty to our lord control over our emotions and 
You know this. Honor. To fight bravely and uphold the legacy of Clan Sakai. Those are your father's words. What does honor mean to you? I guess... Protecting people. The ones who can't fight for themselves. You have a good heart. But first, we must show everyone that we serve our Lord with courage, integrity, and self-control. You say that like it's easy. It's never easy, Jim. I struggle with it every day. But we must set an example for our people by remaining true to our code and to ourselves. That is the meaning of honor. Have not her samurai. Ready to run through a wall. All right, spearmen are ready. Dodge your sword. They'll get hard, I promise. But easy way again. Dispatch. You found your sword. Where can I find a horse? The stables aren't far. This way. Where are the stables? Behind that burning farmhouse. Follow me. There's really not a lot of games out there that look better than this one. If we can get close, slit their throats, and kill them without a sound. Without honor. I will not break my code. Yeah, stay back and let me show you Face time. Me, invader! So, nothing crazy here. You just use your left stick to point to different enemies when you're going across different battles. It's just shame. We're really gonna have a slowdown like this, though, to be honest. We can't save everyone. I'm done running, and I can finally help. Damn it! More guards. Don't let anyone escape. Get back up to my whiffing ways. Slow down, parry, swing. Thank you, my lord. They said all the samurai were dead. Do you have somewhere to hide? I heard Golden Temple might be safe. Go. Stay off the roads, and guard your son with your life. You risked your life for them. They couldn't defend themselves. And I... I can't let more of our people die. They're not the only ones who need you. My brother. The Mongols took him. That's why you saved me. Taka is my only family. And Vol Shimura is mine. Please. I just want my brother back. I'll help you find him after I save my uncle. I promise. I'm coming with you. Stables are just up ahead. Really have no reason to get this house. Just showing you guys some of the movement. Definitely getting supplies out of here. So again, like I said, right trigger is also a really important button when it comes to movement. All right, stay back. Ooh. 
Let's go. Let's get to Perfect bosses. battle for once. It's a good start now. Yeah. Best part of the game here. Some picking horses. a horse. A few we didn't take into battle. Lucky for them. And us. Which horse do you want? So I got the DLC content, but this is easily my favorite horse of the game. Oh. Gonna go with the same name I always go with, too. Needs a name. Noble, trusty companion. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, look at him. Holding your uncle inside. Even the little map transition there for the story. The walls are too high to climb. We could cause a distraction. Sneak in. No. We walk in the front gate. Cotton can't set fire to our best swordsman. Humiliated my uncle. Butchered the warriors of Tsushima. I'm going to repay his kindness. By repeating the same mistakes that got your friends killed. That's what the Mongols will think. But this time. I'll strike first. Wait here until I finish them. It's a really cool aspect of the game standoffs. This is another one of those things you'll be able to upgrade as we go on. I think it goes up to somewhere around like four or five guys you can end up fighting off in I've one standoff alone. Oh, I should have played this in Japanese, honestly. But let me know if you guys want me to change that at all. So as you can see here, this, this parry system is huge. Of course we did. What's all that noise? Not sure. The Mongols fired them off at the beach. to go. Not this way, okay. It made it seem like you guys wanted me to run past this. Don't think I've already mentioned a little white semicircle above their heads, guard break. That's typically when you want to use your quick attacks with square. Shimura, we'll need a quick escape. I'll get the horses ready. Do it. If I'm not back soon, ride for the forest. Yeah, yeah. Garbrick, like we talked about earlier. Just tap triangle. White semicircle. Quick attacks. You can also do a lunge attack and some other things. And this is all to your discretion how you like to combo your moves. And whiff. Oh no, he's dead. This game rewards parry a lot, so, like I've said in previous parts of the video, emphasize this, make sure you take time to get good at it. 
Dodging arrows, uh, you'll typically hear him call it out. Be like, what a father knocked out to his friends that everyone needs to get down. That right there. No chance. He doesn't love some good old foreshadowing. Who will face me first? Who wants it? I don't know if the language is accurate, but it's always a nice touch. So as you see, some of them will cower in fear after a successful standoff, too. I don't blame them. As you can see. Show him his nephew, broken and humiliated, begging to join the Mongol Empire. <laughs> this is your time, Lord Sakai. So as much as I'd like to try in this fight, we're going to stay in it for some dialogue options, but there's no hope here, as you'll soon see. Young master, it's time. I'm coming, Yuriko. The whole island has come to mourn your father. Can't you send them away? You must face them, Jin. You are now the master of Clan Sakai. Yes. You're not alone, Jin. Your father is the wind at your back. Your mother, the 
birds in the trees. And uncle? He will tell you at your father's pyre. Thank you, Yuriko. What a beautiful message. I need someone like that to hype me up every day. If you ever need guidance, Clan Adachi will help you. You'll see this game foreshadows really well in a lot of different ways. Your father protected the people above all else. A true samurai. The game is pretty heavy on the cinematics, as you're going to see throughout this whole episode. But it's going to open up a little bit more as we kind of progress throughout the story and it becomes a lot more action-packed. So, bear with me. We're getting pretty close to that point. Couldn't save him. I was a coward. Jin! You are a samurai. He died because of me. Your father fell in battle saving his only son. His reward is a warrior's death. Now you will carry on his legacy. Your father's spirit resides within his blade. He is always with you. How do I see? <sighs> All right, we flash forward. This is going to have us follow the wind, which is actually one of the cool things that this game got a lot of praise for. It is obviously unique to it being the PlayStation. It is the controller pad, actually, by swiping up, is going to give you the wind. Which I don't know if they're going to have me do it here right now. but It's the way that they introduced a nice travel mechanic system throughout the game. Instead of kind of like a mark and a HUD system... The, the wind itself actually will lead you to your target. It's a really fun way to explore the map. Also because of where it's situated geographically on the map, it's going to be pretty cloudy, wet, almost all the time in this game. Uh, but when the sun does poke through, it does a really good job of showcasing that. And it really does a good job illustrating that kind of post peeking through the cloud sunshine after a storm. If that makes any sense. Oh. You know. You know. Jin, what happened? I found Lord Shimra. 
I could have saved him. But the Khan was there. I failed my uncle. At least you're in one piece. I swore to protect this island with my life. And now the Mongols have stolen our home. Killed our samurai. You forgot what it's like to fight someone stronger than you. To feel weak. Sometimes when you're staring death in the face, you have to do whatever it takes to survive. The Khan expects to fight a war against the Samurai. He will anticipate our every move. Unless we find new ways to surprise him. That's how we'll save Lord Shimura. And retake our home. We'll need some help. Riders. The Khan's attack dogs. There's too many of them. Hide in the grass. Snakes in the grass. Well, that guy went bad really quick. They must be searching for you. It's a good way to showcase the hiding mechanics you have with a lot of the flowers in the game. Samurai mounts. Trained to return to their masters. And just like any open world game with a the horse, there's obviously the ability to call for them. It's gonna be left on the D-pad. Nice trick. The Mongols must be hunting you. We should split up. I'll draw their attention while you escape. I'm not leaving your side until we've saved my brother. First, I need to find more allies. Trained warriors. Like Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi. They can help. My brother can help too. Once we save him, you'll have the island's best blacksmith in your debt. He'll make whatever tool you need to save your uncle. Something to scale the castle walls? You dream it? Taka can make it. Where are they holding him? He was captured near Kechi. Ride there and ask around. I'll join you soon. Taka won't last long in the Mongol cage. Yuna, we will save your brother. And your uncle. So Tsushima is a pretty large map. Uh, I believe, if I can recall correctly, there's going to be three major districts or territories that throughout your whole time invading the Mongols, you're actually going to have to take out, destabilize, and give power back to the people of the community. Uh, but here's actually one of the collectible things that you can do across the map, too. It's a haiku. These don't have any like rhyme or reason to them. They really, you can set them up however you want, just based on how you're feeling that day. And with these haikus, you should have three scenes with three verse options to go through. Again, they don't really have any like value or anything like that. Uh, but it gives you a little bit of variety when you're creating your poem and reflecting on moments in the game. 
which is actually, to my knowledge, is a very important uh, vital key of being a samurai is the ability to reflect. So this game does a lot of that. I feel like it's a pretty accurate time, you know, with the Mongol invasion going on, you know, dark strifes, community reflection, you know, submerged under hard times, good way to go. A world's reflection. Submerged deep in nature's shade. We rise together. So when you do these random events around the map, you're going to get rewarded. Sometimes with masks, sometimes with headbands, different katana or katana, however you pronounce that. Don't want to offend anybody. Uh, and a lot of different collectibles. I'm not going to dive too deep into that because we'll cover it as we go into the series. But just know that there is value in doing these. Like I said, I'm not going to particularly go off to make these a priority in the game, but if you guys want me to, I can make it a little separate piece or a separate series entirely where we can cover the collectibles. But this is the map districts we were talking about when looking at Tsushima Island. I think we're going to end it here, but just kind of want to cover the map. You're going to have these little random points of interest, the question marks. These are going to be villages and small points of interest around the map. They do have their value, so we'll check those out. Uh, these gold markers are going to be the tails, and these are going to be like a series and sequence of missions you're going to want to follow. And this is when you're going to get some allegiance or some support from these local leaders of their communities in order to kind of help you with your uprising. But uh, that's going to be pretty much it for today. I had a lot of fun with this video. I'm going to continue to crank these out in a pretty timely fashion, so if you guys want anything different or you want to add, it's kind of open realm right now. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, gonna, like I said, goal is somewhere around an hour with each one of these videos, kind of get through the story campaign a little bit faster, and if anybody wants me to cover some side content and things like that as we go through, or some collectibles, haikus, and other events that you're going to have across the map, we can do that. We'll most likely kick off the next video going to a random event or Yuna's next mission, uh, but hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.